I'm moving out. <laughs> This is so weird. I'm gonna talk about it a little more on my TikTok and I'm gonna try and like answer more questions on there. But for now, YouTube is gonna be where, sorry, I'm waving at my neighbor. I just share like this entire journey. I've only moved out once, one other time and it was for college. I only went to college for like a year and a half. I was through two years. I went for a year and a half. I barely lived at the house because I traveled so much in those two years. There's a but I barely lived there because I feel like I traveled a lot in like the time that I did move out. But it is March 2nd right now. We're gonna start bringing stuff by the house tomorrow. I'm freaking out guys. I'm just so excited to bring you along. I'm actually on my way to a country concert right now. I have a cute little outfit on right now. I'm about to go meet Sophia and Thomas and we're about to have ourselves a Saturday night. Okay, I'm really excited. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah! Come be in it. <laughs> band-aids in the house yet and I already cut my fingers so gum band-aid Okay, watching back on this footage, I realized I didn't clarify that I'm moving in with Thomas, but he got a house, asked me to be his roommate, and that's kind of the whole gist of it. So, if you're confused in any part of the video, that's what's going on. Yeah, where are you getting food at? Yes. Okay, wait, hold on. I have to test this thing out. Don't test out my toilet. Wait. Sophia, what are, if you break that? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. Deal with <laughs> Wait, you can be in the vlog too. Hey guys. Yeah. Come with me. Come yeah. with me to rip Anna's jelly cat's head off. And I hold my mouth. How many balls? You're gonna go through the window. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. 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 I thought Anna's gonna go through the window. Terror. Not a chance. I was trying to build you up. I've eaten two out of the three toilets here. Hi guys, I'm back home now, or I guess we could say my parents' house. Weird, that's weird. This is home, this is still home. But it is March 3rd, it's 7 p.m. Today we moved in a bunch of necessities, like just kitchen stuff, garage stuff, bedding. But now, somehow, we have to pack up all of this. And I wish I could say I wasn't stressed, but I, I am. This is how I'm planning on moving my clothes. Looks a little sus, but I got a bunch of matching non-slip hangers. And I'm just gonna switch all my clothes onto the matching hangers and then tie them up in a bag, throw them in my car. And then I feel like nothing's dirty and I can just hang everything right when I get to the house. But I also just bought some bins to kind of just chuck a bunch of stuff in. But look at how fun this is. I got this for the middle of like the kitchen island. I don't know, just put a vase. I got this vase. It's not really the cutest. I just got it from Target, but I just want something to put my flowers in tomorrow. Anyways, you see the vision. Maybe I'll find a better little tray somewhere, but that's good for now. Also, Thomas said I'm not allowed to bring my jelly kits, but they're coming with me, okay? I don't I don't care. All right, here's a little update. We got a lot of clothes on the new hangers, parent traps on, and suitcase full of shoes. That's really bad. 
But you know what? We'll figure it out. Okay, it's the next day. I don't even know what day of the week is. I don't know what the day. I don't even know what year I'm in. I all I know is that I'm, I dripped out, sweating all my brain cells from packing up the car. But all my drawers are empty. That is so sad. My boots are freaking off the shelf. Bikini bin is empty. Don't ask if I even know where I'm putting my bikinis because I don't. Desk is empty. Wow, it's happening. It's happening, guys. Oh wait, look. I didn't even show you how sad this is. Oh. My frick, we still got like 1,000 hats over there and cars are getting packed. We are officially moved out. Tonight is going to be night one, staying at the house. The room just feels like so, em don't worry, Squishmallows are coming with me, but the room just feels so freaking empty, it's weird. My mom didn't make me make a decision on my Legos and books and knickknacks yet, but I will have to come back this week and decide if I'm gonna bring those to the house or leave them here, but she's like, I'm not keeping your Legos, girl. Very understandably so. Guys, this is freaking nuts. Last night was our first night in the house and it's been kind of hectic. We've just been kind of like unpacking and organizing everything. I don't know if I showed you guys the closet, but Sophia came and organized all of it for us. I'm obsessed. Look at how cute the bedding is. I'm gonna add some more pillows and just blankets and stuff like that and possibly more jelly cats. But we're just gonna wait for furniture because like all this stuff needs to go in like dressers or drawers. I just went to Target and TJ Maxx so like everything is all over the place and I'm about to put everything away. Look how freaking cute the flowers are. I did that yesterday. That might not stay. I think it's like a little too girly, the little cowboy boot candle, but for now, it's kinda cute. And I've been trying to find the speaker so I can jam out and like do all the things, put everything away. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to speak guys. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Guys, it's like weeks later since I don't know the last time I picked up this camera. I just got back home from Hawaii yesterday morning. I challenged myself and I tried to stay up like a full 24 hours so I can like try to beat jet lag and I did sleep like a rock last night. How about that? I'm gonna give you guys a few more updates really quick though. Thomas picked out these bath mats from I think it was Home Goods and I really love them. I think he also found these bar stools from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I'm not really sure, but he found these while I was gone and I love them. They literally match the floor perfectly. It's like kind of weird. I switched out the flowers when I got home yesterday from Trader Joe's. Thomas insists these tomatoes sit out here, which is fine, but I really want to get a cute bowl because that's not cutting it. And that's really the only update I have for you guys. We tried to look for a couch yesterday, but finding a couch is like really hard. Nobody really prepares you for that. I sound like 100 couches yesterday and None of them made the cut. <laughs> Bye guys, I'll see you guys in the next vlog, whenever that is. Uh...